All right, so we are going to uh, review the notes from, that we did before we left, just so that you are reminded about how to graph one, an exponential. Remember the graph that the graph starts increasing gradually, and then it curves upward at a faster rate, or it starts high and goes low. Now, when it's increasing from the left to the right, that means our b was greater than 1. And when it's decreasing from the left to the right, that means our b is between 0 and 1. Okay, so we're looking at fractions here. We're looking at positive fractions. All right. Now, exponential graph is, also has horizontal asymptotes. That asymptote is a line that the graph approaches. It doesn't matter whether it's positive, it's increasing or decreasing, it's always, it's always a, getting close to that line, but it never crosses. And it's either whether it's, it's where it's decreasing. It's, so like where this one is decreasing, go, right here, it's always getting close to that imaginary line. It's never gonna hit it. This is the asymptote right here. Now, for you guys, the asymptote's always gonna be the x-axis because we're keeping it pretty simple. And that equation is always y equals zero. So you need to remember that equation. Y is equal to zero because all the values along the x-axis, the y is zero. All right, so let's graph these ones here. To graph them, I want you to list the y-intercept, the asymptote, and one other point. You've got to show this. Okay, so if you remember, in the equation of y equals a, b to the x, this is our y-intercept. All right, so for these two equations here, I'm going to change the color so it's easier to see. This is my y-intercept. And that's 0, 3. So I'm going to go up to 0, 3, right here. My asymptote is always y equals 0. And you're going to have to show this on your graph. So if you have color pencils or something, use them. I'm going to change this to a red. And it's just going to make a dashed line along the x-axis. All right. And then you need one other point. So to do one other point, easiest thing to do is put a 1 into the equation and plot it. So the other point, I'm going to use this work over here to the side. So I'm going to find when x is equal to 1. So I'm going to take my equation, y equals 3 times 2 to the first. Well, 3 times 2, 2 to the first is 2, so it's 3 times 2. And that is 6, so the point is 1, 6. So I'm going to go over to 1 and put up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and put a dot here. Now, it looks like it's just a straight line going up, but you need to remember that it's a curve. So you're going to start along that asymptote. All right, and as you get closer to the origin, you're going to curve it up and almost make it go straight up and down. Okay? That is the graph for that equation. It's just a sketch. It's not perfect because you're not putting a whole bunch of points on there. But I do need to see the y. I need you to list the y-intercept. I need you to tell me this asymptote. And I need to be able to see one other point. All right? So let's do this one. All right. So y-intercept this time is 4. So 0, 4. Asymptote is still in the same spot. And now we do one other point. So the other point, again, the same thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put x equals 1 into my equation. So y equals 4 times 1 third to the first, 
So that becomes four thirds. And you're probably thinking, how am I gonna graph four thirds? Well, change it to a decimal, so it's 1.3. Now, I know you're probably thinking, wait a second, how do I graph 1.3? It's not gonna be perfect, it's just a general idea. So I'm gonna go over one, I'm gonna go up one, and I'm just gonna put it like right, oh, hold on here. Right about there. So going left to right, my graph is going down. So that means I'm, I myself, guys, I always go from the low end up. It's just easier for me. So I'm gonna start from the right here. It doesn't matter what you guys do. Just go right along that line, hit those two points, and go up. And there's our equation. All right, there's a graph of that equation. All right, so this is just a re was a review of the notes from the beginning of this chapter.